Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm trying to catch up here. Give me just a second. Hi, Blanca. Hello, hello. Can you see me and hear me just fine? Let me know, please. Let me know. I'm pulling everything up on my end. Make sure I can see everything. Happy, happy Sunday. Good afternoon. Hello, Jay. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Shandraka. Penny. Denise. Carol. Hello. I got the phone pulled up and I can see. Hi, MT. Hi, Donna. Give me just a second. I'm getting myself situated over here. Yeah, I know how it be. It be taking a minute. Yes, ring my bell, please. Give the video a thumbs up as you come in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Ring my bell. It is Sunday, new week, new deals, new money to be made, old money to be saved. Is that what we're saying? Hello, hello. Okay, y'all, this morning, it was a little rough, rough, a little rough, rough at the wall for me. There was a lot going on, a lot, a little rough. Nonetheless, I got it together, made out like a fat rat and some. Um, I was wondering if the spin 30 get 10 works with the game. No, I don't think that promotion ever actually started working. It was like three weeks now that it's been advertised in the um, in the store. My stores have a whole display with a big sign that says you spend 10 on, no, you spend 30 on participating PNG products. You get back a $10 register reward. I tried it once and it never worked. A few other people tried it as well and it never worked. So I don't know what's up with that promotion. Hi, Christina. Um, Sheila says, hi, Michelle, and to the chat, to the community. She's on her way to WAG. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some quick deal, um, deal update, and then we'll get into this absolutely fabulous haul that I had did. It is so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. Okay, so first off, Let's see. Deal updates first. Um, let me see if I have the picture on here. I think I put a picture on here. Let's see. Where is it, Michelle? I thought I added pictures before I started, but it's a, it's a chance that I lie and I didn't do that. But you know what? I did, but you know what's crazy? Dang it. I added the pictures but I edited it from my phone. Okay, so forgive me, because I'm going to have to, To it's crazy. I'm, I'm streaming from the phone, but I also have the software on the computer, so you would think that everything will be the same on both ends, from the phone and then from the computer, but it's not. So I need to show y'all pictures so that you can follow along with me, so I'm going to have to, like, touch the phone and do so. So you're going to see my finger. It is what it is. So hold on. Let's see. But it didn't add my overlays. Or heck, it didn't even add it on the phone. Well then maybe never mind to this uh this thought process. Maybe it won't be working. Oh. I don't know why. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so I have my pictures on here where I'll be able to show you my receipts. And such, 
but that ain't gonna work because, well, for whatever reason, it load on here. I don't know why. This is really odd. Did I not? I know I saved it. Maybe I didn't. The chance I didn't. Okay, forgive me. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, deal update. On Ibotta, we have a rebate for the Moderma, Moderma Advanced Score Cream. Okay, there's a rebate. There's actually two separate rebates. One is for $10.50 back. One is for $10 back. The rebate is double attaching, glitching. So you can buy one product and you're going to get back $20.50. Check to see if you have this rebate available. And again, it's on the Moderma Advanced Score Gel, I think it is. My store... Um, my store didn't have any in stock, so I didn't do the deal yet. I plan to get back out, and hopefully I can find it. Let me see here. But I did scan the product that I already have in my stockpile, and it is double attaching. Let me see. I'm going to find a picture of it so I can show y'all. Again, I have my pictures on here, and, well, they ain't there. So hopefully y'all can see that. Oh, that's a little bit of a glare. Hold on. Okay, so we see that it's the Moderma Advanced Score Gel. Okay, they are like twenty four dollars and ninety nine cent at Walgreens. Um, I don't think they're on promotion for anything, so you can use a twenty percent off coupon or a um store register reward and Walgreens cash to pay and or register rewards to pay. And then submit to Ibotta and get both of the the um, rewards back. And again, it's a ten fifty reward and then a $10 reward. So both are applying on there. I'm really bummed that my pictures didn't come across on here for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, moving on. Um, I just did the Moderma and it only attached the one. Oh, sucky, Christina. When I scan the product in the app, it shows that both are attaching. Again, I didn't do the deal, so I don't have a receipt to scan to see if it would automatically pick it up. If you can find it in Ibotta, write it and it will come It will come up. Oh, you mean the, the, the rebate. Gotcha. Um, I did it curbside and it didn't pick it up so I had to scan it and it picked up one. Okay. Gotcha, Christina. Thank you. So note to self there, add that to your list, the Moderma Advanced um, Score Gel. And if you can find it, scan it into Ibotta when you get in store to make sure that it is attaching. Why is my phone not, not doing what it's supposed to be doing over here? Okay, that's one deal update. Um I can't, I'm so bummed. I, I, I know I put those pictures in here and I think, I guess I didn't save it. So I can't, dang it. I didn't save it. So it's not, they're not there, which, hold on y'all. Let me see if it'll let me add it while I'm in here. Hold on. I know we be doing the most, but y'all, y'all feel me. Hold on. No, no, no. Add overlay. Okay. Um, draws. Can y'all still hear me? Y'all probably can't see me. I don't know because I just like went to a whole other thing on the phone. But hold on. All right. Um. No. 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 So that. 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 That and that. Okay. Select. Uh, okay, am I still here? Y'all still see me and hear me? Because I'm messing with my phone over here, trying to see if I get these to upload. Oh, goodness. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. We can't see and hear you. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Picture froze. It probably froze whenever I was doing whatever I was doing on the other side, trying to get these to load up. Okay, I think they're there. Look at that. I did it. Okay, hold on. Let me put this in. 
So this right here for iPod. So when I scan it, this is what pops up for me. So hopefully if I'm able to find the product, I'm going to purchase it, scan my receipt, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that they both pull up automatically on the Ibotta because, well, that would be sweet, sweet. Even if they don't both pull up and maybe only one does, it's still a really good deal because, I mean, you know, you're getting $10 back and you can use the store's fake money to pay. So you can't complain about that. So that's a good deal. Okay. So that was an update. Next update. The household deal this week at Walgreens. Buy four participating products at $5.49, and you get back the $5 register reward. We have the Bounty Essentials, the Shorman um, toilet paper, and then the Gain Laundry, all a part of this promotion. I tested it out um, two different ways. First way is with the Shorman. Let me see. All right, so I tested it out with purchasing four of the Shorman toilet um, Storming. four of the bounty paper towel okay so i purchased four of these in a single transaction five dollars and 49 cents each right so 21.96 what i did is i used register rewards to pay and help lower my out of pocket and then walgreens cash the five dollar register reward did not print for those okay it did not which I'm not surprised because typically when we have this household deal, it includes these products here, the um, bounty and the tie. And typically these particular bounties, for whatever reason, never print out the dang on register reward. Now it clearly shows, to show you guys again, it clearly shows on the ad that these here are the ones that are part of the promotion, but it did not print the reward, okay? If you did it, if you did it and you got the reward, please comment down below. Let us know what you purchased, whether two bounty, uh, four bounty, three bounty, again, whatever you purchase, be as detailed as possible. But it did not print for me. OK. All right. So the next deal I did for this household promotion is the game. I picked up two of the Gain liquid laundry detergents. Again, $5.49 each. Buy four, get back $5 in um, register reward. And then I picked up two of the fabric softeners, okay? So four products total. I used, where's my receipt? I don't know. I used four of the $5 manufactured register rewards that we earned last week from doing the glitchy glitch. So we had the select oral care products that were double dipping, giving you back a $5 and a $4 reward. So I had a ton because y'all know I did the deal on repeat. So I used the $5 manufactured register reward from last week's oral care deal, which is also Procter & Gamble products. And I used it to purchase my game which is also Procter & Gamble product. And yes, I got back the $5 manufactured register reward for buying these four here. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you're planning to get dressed though because like what you got on ain't gonna work. Okay. Um, so just a quick, quick, let's stop right there. The deal that I did last week produced a $5 register reward from P&G. Procter and Gamble, but that deal came from the promotion of Oro Care. The game is an entire different promotion. So I can use that register reward from the two pays to pay for the game. Okay. Now those rewards are from last week. So if I do two pay deals this week and I earn back the $5 register reward this week, I can also use that $5 register reward to buy the game this week because it's two separate promotions, okay? Ton of videos in the pinned comment that goes into all of this on how to roll register rewards, what rolls, what don't roll, blah, 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 blah. So you can use a PNG coupon or more PNG products and you will get another PNG register reward as long as you're getting the correct product, okay? So that is that. Um, Hold on, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. 
I had an issue. My store had other stuff marked instead of what was in the ad. It's, it's important to make sure you're always reading the sales tags, but then you're also scanning the product in the app to verify that it is the right um, the right item. Can you explain what you said in a previous video reference a credit card on file to force a receipt to print? Tony, I will, because Tony, Tony, it was a situation today. Give me some time. We're going to get to that when I get to my haul, my big deal that I did. Uh, the paper towel was in print for you. Yeah, it's always an issue with those paper towels. My store had the two green body tag. You know what? They might be included. I'm not sure. I didn't even check. I did those because those are the ones I needed was the body essential. So I knew for me personally, even if they did not print, I knew that my store would honor the sales ad and the tag and just give me the $5 in Walgreens cash. I'm good with that because I needed these paper towels. So, you know, I'm good. Hey, Candy. Hey, Crystal. Okay, um, that girl, that pretty, pretty green stuff. All right, so um, that is that. On that, okay. Now, let me stop right here for a second. Um, and share this thought process with you that I shared with my cashier this morning as well, because she was like, wait, what's going on, blah, 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 blah. So last week, again, we had the two pay deal that was glitching, right? And they were $3 each. So um, you buy three, you get back. You buy three, it's $9. There was no manufacturing coupons. So I used a store register reward. That brought my total down, and then I used Walgreens cash. Now, for me, because I'm not taxed on oral care, it was absolutely free. I didn't pay any tax, anything out of pocket. I just used the store's money. Store register reward. And then Walgreens cash. And I did that on repeat a few different times. And I got back the $5 register reward plus the additional $4 register reward. So I got back $9, right? So that freebie, that freebie last week, completely free, no money out of pocket. That freebie last week, I just used those rewards or some of them was like out of time and picked up the game. Okay. So it's, it's, we're just rolling, we're just rolling the store's fake money to get real product. Okay. That's what's going on. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Cause I mean, I didn't pay for the toothpaste last week. And we just rolling, 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 rolling. I could have used only two of the register rewards and then Walgreens cash to pay. It doesn't matter. My my goal is always to get the least amount of cash out of pocket on every single transaction. So I just like, you know what? The heck with I got a ton. Let me let me use them. Okay, moving on. Um, let me share this with you guys. So these Zorbi here, these here, I found on clearance at a store for like two seventy nine or something of the sort. These have been on some very mysterious promotion for like three, four months now for the longest. So the store promotion at Walgreens with these products, it is when you buy two you get $5 back in Walgreens cash, okay? But then there's a Catalina promotion that's been running, again, for quite some time, for a couple months. And that promotion is when you buy two, you get back a $5 Catalina. Or if you buy four, you get back a $10 Catalina. I have no clue when this promotion started. I have no clue when it ends. I have no clue where it's coming from. All I know is that it's been rolling for months. I have yet to been able, I have yet to been able, is that, is that proper English? I haven't been able to test it out because these were still full price at my stores at $9.99. I've seen a ton of people over the last couple of months that have been able to find them on clearance for various prices. And even so being able to pick them up and take advantage of the store promotion, Again, buy two, get back five in Walgreens cash. And then the Catalina promotion, buy two, get a $5 Catalina. Or buy four and get back a $10 Catalina. So again, don't know when it started, don't know when it ends. I'm sharing this because I finally found some on clearance, okay? My clearance is like cents. I've seen other people getting it for like $0.90 cents for each. You know, for like one box was $0.90, cents, which is a really sweet um, clearance. But... Being that, you know, it's been so long since I, I've been hoping to find these and find them at a decent enough price to do the deal, 
I just went ahead and got them at the 279 price. So I found these yesterday when I went into the um the store scoping it out. So I shared that so that you can understand where I got the money from for the transaction I'm about to show you. Okay. So again, these were just on clearance, random, found them hanging out on the back end cap, and I picked them up. So I brought four and got back a $10 register reward. They actually had six. So I brought four of the transaction, got back the 10, and then I did two in another transaction and got back a five. And then $10 in Walgreens cash, because again, it's by two and get five. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So that's that. And again, I shared that so that you guys can understand or, or know where I'm getting my money from, because I got one big reward, which is the $10 register reward that I use for what I picked up on my um, deal. Um, okay, so let me go to comments and make sure I didn't miss anything. Weird in my Ibotta, I have ten dollars, one for each kind kid score gel, regular score gel, and one with the SPF plus a bonus for a dollar, but not the 1050. The Ibotta rebates can vary by account. Um, if you have the kids score, that's one different one, the advance is another one, and then we have like a cream. So when you're in store, just scan all the products and see what happens. But yeah, they're all different. Um, Houston is in the building. Hey, H Town. Okay, working on my Walgreens list right now. So happy I caught you first. I'm happy you caught me first too. You get five. Aaron says you get five when you buy two, and PayPal ten and PayPal when you buy three. Can you send the link for that, Erin? If you uh, it's probably not gonna let you post it in the chat, but if you can DM me either Instagram, Facebook, or send me an email with the link for the, the Zorbies, that would be nice. But I got back register rewards for I didn't get anything back in PayPal. Um I'm headed to Walgreens soon. Okay. So let me keep going. Um, what are they? They are cough drops, they're all natural, um, like an all natural cough drop. Can y'all see that? There you go. There's a, a, a lemon, and then there's also a purple one. I think that one might be like a, a mint or something. But they were both all on clearance. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so let's get into my big transaction. So for my big transaction, what I'm doing is I am taking advantage of the Fetch Rewards promotion. On Fetch, we have a promotion that states whenever you spend 50 on Kimberly Clark products, you get back 15,000 points, which is $15, okay? Kimberly Clark is your Scott toilet paper, your Scott paper towel, your Huggies um, diapers, pull-ups, um, the Kotex products, cotton nail products, Viva products, and yeah, that's all Kimberly Clark products. So when you spend 50, you get back $15 um, on Fetch Rewards. Now, it's one of those bonuses that do track, so you don't have to spend 50 all at once. It will track over time. So you can do a $5 transaction, $10 here, $2 there, and just scan your receipts, and it will continue to track until you hit that $50 more. Yes, sir. Huh? Do we have those? I don't think we have any balloons. What's your balloons for? I'm sorry. I don't think we have any balloons. Give me, a, give me some time. Let me go to the store, to the Dollar Tree, and get some. Um, okay, so you don't have to spend 50 all at once for the fetch rewards, you can do it over time. But you know, we extreme couponers, so why are we gonna nickel and dime my deal? Let's get this done ASAP and get some money back quick, quick. So, this is what I'm working with here. Then, on top of that, hold on, making sure I don't forget anything. On top of that, we have oh, I didn't add the bonus in here for the fetch for my pictures, anyway. Okay, so on top of that, I am doing a digital spin booster of spin 20 and get $5 back in Walgreens cash. I paired it in with a paper booster for spin 50 and get $10 back in Walgreens cash. So my digital spin 20 get five, paper spin 50 get 10, okay? And of course, I am going through contactless pay, which is the pay in store option in order to use that paper booster and pay with Walgreens cash and still get my Walgreens cash back. When it comes to the paper spend boosters, if you do not go through the contactless pay, pay in store option, 
and you're trying to use Walgreens Cash, it will not work. Don't know why, but it's a blessing that we know if we go through contactless pay, it will work. It's almost like going through contactless pay transforms or converts the paper booster into a digital. It's a thing. I'm not sitting here trying to figure it out. It's a thing. It works. So anyway, so we did that. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so what I picked up first is the big razors. So these are on sale for five dollars and ninety nine cents. That is a month long um, sale price on these. Okay, nothing's coming back, but they're five ninety nine. We have a digital as well as an insert coupon for four dollars off of one. I of course used two insert coupons, two paper coupons, only because I was using register rewards and we know register rewards and digitals don't always work well together okay so $5.99 each for these here all right so then I picked up the blink um contact lubricate the eye drops these are I price match these online online they're seven dollars and 49 cents okay so I price match these online in store I think they were like $8.99 if I'm not mistaken we have an IVC coupon for $4 off of one. So four comes off, four comes off, okay? We have insert coupons for $3 off one, $3 off one. So and after all it's said and done, it makes them like 49 cents or something like that each, which we don't call space coupons, so who cares? It just makes for a really great filler item. They're cheap after the IVC and manufacturer coupons. So there you go there. Okay, then another deal that I'm super excited about is the Dr. Teals. So the Dr. Teals is a part of the same promotion as the um, Compete and the Dr. Souls or whatever they're called. Anyway, the promotion is on foot care. That's the exact promotion, foot care. When you buy two participating products, you get back $5 in Walgreens cash. So Dr. Teals is a part of that. And it says foot soak on here. So it needs to be the one that says foot soak. It can't be just your regular Epsom salt, okay? It has to be the one that says foot soak. All right? You see that? So these are $4.99 each, okay? There's no coupons that I know of for these. I picked up two. And again, the promotion is buy two, get $5 back in Walgreens cash, okay? $4.99 each. So two of these. Okay, then I went ahead and, well, let me show you the other stuff that's not Kimberly, Kimberly Clark. Okay, I needed a filler item for two reasons. Well, actually for one reason. I needed a filler item to get my total to 50 so that I can use 50 in Walgreens cash and so that my tax wouldn't interfere with how much my manufacturer coupon paid. Side note, if you did not know this, when it comes to tax and manufacturer coupons, um, a portion of your tax will be deducted from the amount you pay with your manufacturer coupons. This is why math is so important at Walgreens, numbers matter. So I have a video in the pinned comment that walks you through exactly how to calculate your taxes, blah, 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 blah. I needed a filler item. So what I picked up was what I needed. Two packs of the Dixie plates, okay? These are $5.99 regular price. So these are my filler items in order to get my total up so that I can use 15 wax cash and so that my tax did not interfere with the amount I had in manufacturer coupons towards my um, payment. So $5.99 regular price. I did use also a 20% off coupon, 20% off um, Catalina, okay? All right, next deal. The Venus razors, these right here are on a month long promotion. Spend 10, no, spend 20 and get $10 back. Month long, spend 20 and get $10 back. These are $14.99 each, regular price. 20% off coupon will apply, taking off $3 on each one. So $6 in savings for the 20% off coupons, okay? We have $3 off one insert coupons, 
or a $3 off one digital. Again, I'm using register rewards as well. And it's such a big deal. I have no room for error. I'm using all paper coupons here. $3 insert coupons takes off six, okay? So that. And now let's get into what our Kimberly Clark products were. So I picked up, I picked up a total of four Scott paper towels, okay? Four Scott paper towels. $5 um, regular price, yeah. I use the IVC coupon for $1.25 off. That makes it $3.75. And I picked up four, so $5 came off for the IVC coupon. Side note, if you still have any of your 50 cent off one Scott toilet paper coupons, or if you had a dollar off Scott toilet paper coupons, I would throw in the toilet paper because then you can use those coupons and that would reduce your, um, your price as well. I didn't have any more coupons because I used all of those last week. So and then I stocked up on toilet paper last week. So instead, I went ahead and did the, um, the paper towels. Okay, so no coupons for these. But they're five dollars. IBC coupon takes off a dollar um, twenty-five, and I grab four. Okay, follow along with me, y'all. Follow along. Okay, the Kotex pack. Okay, so the Kotex in store or two for twelve, I believe. So I price match them to the online price because it's cheaper. So online they are three dollars and eighty-nine cents. So for two, it's seven dollars and seventy-eight cents. These are regular price. So my twenty percent off coupon will apply to these, taking off a dollar fifty-six total. Okay, three eighty-nine online, three eighty-nine plus three eighty-nine is seven seventy-eight, and then my twenty percent took off a dollar fifty-six. We have an insert coupon for four dollars off of two. Okay, so I picked up a total of four of these. Now remember, I want to make sure I'm getting to the $50 mark for the Fetch Rewards bonus. You have to spend $50 to get $15 back. So I picked up four boxes of the Kotex here. Only issue I have with the Kotex is that my second $4 off two insert coupon did not go through. It said no item sold for this product, whatever, whatever. Don't know why, but it didn't. The first coupon went through with no problem. The second one did not. So what I did was simply grab a $4 manufactured register reward and use that as my coupon. The numbers stay the same, okay? It's, it's just math. It stays the same. All right. So that is that. And then I picked up two packs of Huggies to finish off my Fetch Reward deal. The Huggies in the ad, they say they're two for $21. They didn't ring up that price. They rung up two for 20 for me. And that was a regular, like it was considered regular price, two for 20. So the, since it was considered regular price, the 20% off coupon applied, taking off $2 on each pack. Okay, so the 20% gave me an additional $4 off for the hoodie. I used the intro coupons that do expire today for $2.50 off of one. So $5 in coupons coming off. Okay, I hope guys follow me on that. So... After it's all said and done for my Fetch Rewards deal, I was like at $54 and some change. So I have spent $54 for Fetch. Now, when it comes to Fetch, do know that it's always different. Sometimes Fetch will pick up your total before coupons are applied. And then sometimes it will pick up the total after coupons. It's just a give or take. If it, excuse me, if it ever picks up the total, after coupons, I always um, do the correct my receipt thing. And then you just go down to the bottom of the correct receipt, put in the amount that you actually purchased for your items, and then it corrects itself and it gives you the point. So that's how I handle that. Um, thanks, Crystal. The pull up and a good night. That's right. It is safe on the Fetch Rewards offer. It excludes pull ups and um, the good nights. Thank you. Okay, so um, Paula, you need to put that baby to sleep. Tell that baby Aunt Michelle is um on on right now and go go play around somewhere. Get that baby some pots and pans to go uh play with. <laughs> Trust 
me, I understand. Okay, so I got all that stuff, all right? So again, digital booster spend 20, get five. Paper booster spend 50, get 10. Spend deal on the razor, spend 20 and get 10, okay? So all of that's going on. And then the Fetch Rewards promotion, spend 50, get 15, okay? All of that. So then let me show you the receipt and stuff. Hold on. And of course, again, I went through contact with Pay. Now, Tony, you had a question. Okay, let me stop right here. So this is my recommendation for us all moving forward. With contactless pay, um, you have to put in a form of payment, either your credit card, your bank debit card, or a gift card. I have a actual gift card that has money on it, okay? But then I also have a dummy card that has no more money on it. What I personally am going to do from now on is I'm going to always use that dummy card that has zero dollars on it. It's going to still let you process as per usual with contactless pay. But what's going to happen is once the transaction process at the very end, if they're, um, you don't have any money. So at the very end, it's going to prompt the system to say, oh, this person owes X, Y, Z. OK, because there's no money on the gift card. So you still have to pay. All right. I hope that makes sense. So, again, a dummy card in the Walgreens wallet. When that, when you have the dummy cord, it's gonna process the transaction. At the end, it's gonna to try to pull the money from the dummy cord, but there's no money there. So at that point, it's just gonna revert back and say, hey, you owe this, how are you gonna pay for it? Okay? And I say that because it's a fail safe. If something goes wrong, it stops the transaction because with contactless pay, it processes automatically. So let's just say you ring up all your things, you do the contactless pay, you ring up all your things, you hand over a couple of coupons and the cashier thinks you're done and they press total. Once they press total, it just goes. And if they didn't scan all your coupons, whatever your remaining balance is, it's going to get charged to whatever credit card, debit card, or gift card you have on file. So it's going to jack up your transaction. By having the dummy card in there, it stops that. So if something happened to where they didn't scan the coupon or a coupon didn't go through or whatever, it's not going to automatically process and complete. It's going to stop it. So that gives them a chance to go back and scan more coupons and or board the transaction completely and then you store it over. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So, and I'm telling you, I do that because today my first go around with this transaction, when she scanned that second Kotex coupon and it did not go through. I don't know what she did. don't know what she pressed. Like it asked them something about, it, it asked her something and she had to press no or yes. I don't know what she pressed, but whatever she pressed, it made the transaction process all the way through. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. I still had a ton of coupons left to scan. So it charged my card $48, $50. $50. It charged my card $50, and that's the gift card that I have in there, which I shouldn't even have a gift card with that much money on there, but I do. It charged the card $50, $48. I'm like, oh, heck. So I had to do the whole post board thing and wait, give the system time for everything to go back so that I can redo the transaction. Y'all, I was about to lose my top because I'm like, girl, I, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. But it wasn't her fault. I don't know what happened. Like she, like it asked her something and she pressed something and the transaction said, okay. And it went through. And because I had an actual gift card link that had a balance, well, it took my little $50. So I had to do a whole, a whole thing. Process and says tender, not process. Thank you. Exactly. That's what it will say at the very end. Give you the chance to correct the transaction, scan more coupons or board the transaction or if you're completely done. And it's correct, then you would just pay whether in cash or slot your debit card, whatever, whatever. All right, uh, let me show you guys the receipt. Hold on, girl, that was $50. I was like, she is the devil is a lie. We are not where they do that at. Where they do that at? I got that kind of money back up, sis. Back up, okay. Let me show you the receipt. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Hopefully, you can see it. All right, so we got the big razors. Um, eleven ninety eight. The Doctor Teals, the Venus Razors, the Blink. Um, hopefully you can see it because I can hardly see it. So hopefully y'all can see it. And then everything else. Scott, Dixie, 
the Huggies, and so on. Okay, y'all let me know if y'all can see it before I, I move on. You can't see it, Tina? Do the whole, you know what? Take a screenshot. Let me move myself out the way. Okay, I'm kind of out the way. Take a screenshot, and then you got to do the whole little Zoom thing on your phone so that you can read it. Thank you, Crystal. You can see it. Thank you, Erin. If you can't make it out, guys, take a screenshot, and then you can go back to your, your photos on your phone and Zoom in. Yeah, it's small. I can hardly see it over here. This is the best I can do on the live video. And y'all, it's Sunday. I need to be back in the streets doing my thing. Okay, moving on. Let me show you the second part. Okay, that's the second part of the receipt there. So you see all the coupons there. And again, I had that $10 register reward from the Zorbies. I used a $5 register reward that we earned last week. I used a $4 register reward that we earned last week. And then I used another $5 register reward that was earned last week. My subtotal was $52.94 with my tax, $56.81. And I used $50 in Walgreens cash to pay. Okay. I got back a total of $30 in Walgreens cash on this transaction. I can't show you. I can't show you the, the balance because y'all know sometimes with the contact with pay because it be tripping and it be taking forever. It doesn't print at the very end of the the thing for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it didn't print the reward total. But I got a feeling that y'all trust me enough to believe me when I say I got my money back. I got my money back. I got $30 in Walgreens cash back. Again, 10 for the paper booster. Five for the digital booster, ten for the Venus deal, and five for the Dr. Um, Teals. And then I submitted to Ibotta. Oh, by the way, did I mention I still had my rebate for the big razors? Three dollars back when you buy two. So if you still have your rebate and you pick up big razors, don't forget to scan to Ibotta. So three dollars back for the razors. And then I mentioned that we have a rebate on Huggies on Ibotta, a dollar back up to five times. So $2 coming back for the Huggies. And then I did get the 15 back from Fetch Rewards. So there you go there, see? See, look at that, look at that. It all worked out, it all worked out. So now I got monies on the Fetch, then I can cash out for whatever, whatever, whatever I need to cash out for. And then here's um, Ibotta, $5 back again, the razors and the huggy diaper. So that be that. Okay. Hold on. All right. Any questions before we go? Any questions? At all. Girl, Crystal, I'm about to, girl, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this week for all it got. And some, friends, and some. You're welcome, Erin. I had it still on mine because I didn't pick them up the, when that rebate popped up on my um, on my main Ibotta. I did it on my second one, but not my main one. Um, girl, I have to dip out and finish this house, finish with this house so I can be in the streets. All right, Crystal, you have a good day, friend. A good day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, any other questions? Anything that I missed at all? Darlene says, you can only have mercy on cashiers that mess up. The system seems to work against them and us a lot of the time. Yeah, sometimes it is a system um, issue. I, I don't know what she pressed. I don't know what had happened. But all I know, she was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, girl, it's okay. I ain't got, I'm like, I ain't got nowhere else to be. So let's go ahead and post board and start over. And we were so close to finishing. And I'm doing the most with all my price matching and ringing up everything and making sure my math is right. Doing the absolute most. And I'm like, it's okay. It happens. It happens. We'll get through it. But yeah, I was in there for longer than what I had to be because I had to wait to do the, the post board and wait for 
my Walgreens cash to reload to my account and all that stuff there. But it wasn't so bad. Okay, so any questions or anything else before I um I exit? Oh, Tony, you're from San Antonio? Well, hello there, Texan. Uh, when we finish here, I'll rewatch everything I missed. <laughs> Paula, tell that baby to go take a nap. Love the lesson. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you, Tony. You too. You too. Um, so it, it's just, you know, we're just stacking all the things together. I know that sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just, it's stacking all the things together. I know I had the digital booster and I had the paper booster. I know in order for me to use Walgreens Cash with either booster, my form of payment, which is my manufacturer coupon, have to cover my required spin amount. Otherwise, I have to cover that other portion. So I throw things like the blink into my transaction because it's going to be low cost and it has a high value coupon. So it's going to help me pay for um, my booster. Same thing with the razors. They're $5.99 for dollar coupon. Makes them $1.99. It's going to help me pay for my booster. And so on and so forth. So it's all about carrying the right items and deals together with the right coupons and getting those totals just right. And then you're good to go. So I know that rule is in order to use Walgreens cash with a booster, I have to make sure my former payment covers the Walgreens cash. Okay. Uh, covers the spin amount. So that's that. In order to use the paper booster with Walgreens cash, I know I have to go through contactless pay. So that is that. In order to make sure I meet my spend requirement, I know I have to purchase up to the spend requirement. Spend 50, get 10. So I have to purchase $50 worth of product. But I also know it has to be $50 after Walgreens coupons, which is the IBC coupon and the percentage off coupon. Again, we have the we have the IBC on the Scott paper towels, $1.25. So after this is subtracted for each paper towel, I know I still have to be at that required $50 more, right? Same thing with the blink, $4 IBC. After that is applied, I have to still be at $50. Percentage off coupon took off a total of $6 for my razor. After that comes off, I still have to be at $50. So that's it. That, that, that's it. it. It's really, it's, that's it. It's math. That's it. Me price matching is just me trying to make sure I'm getting as much product in one transaction as I can pull out. If I did not price match on the um, the U by Kotex, they would have been two for twelve regular price in store, and the blink was eight ninety nine. That would have cost me more. Therefore, I probably would not have been able to add so many paper towels, or maybe not add two of the paper plates that I needed, or maybe not add two sets of the Kotex. Okay, and if I didn't add two sets of the Kotex then maybe I probably would not have reached the fetch rewards requirement. Spend 50, get the 15, okay? So it's just about, I don't know, to me, it's like a puzzle. The way I view it in my head, it's like a puzzle. Like, okay, this fit, that fit, no, this don't, take that out. This is, It's a puzzle. I, I, I don't know, it's a puzzle. Okay. Um, I don't need diapers, so I will see if I can find, can't find other products I need. Vanessa, paper products, Scott paper towels, toilet paper for Scott, Cottonelle toilet paper, Cottonelle flushable wipes, um, Huggies baby wipes, tampons, pads, liners, all of those are Kimberly Clark products. So if you don't need the diapers, there's plenty. There's plenty. There's plenty. Um, okay, let me just make sure before I get ready to go. He doesn't nap anymore, Paula. Send him to me. I got to get him right. Send him to me. Put him on the Greyhound bus. Send him to A. Michelle. I got to get him right. <laughs> um, thanks, Jay. Question. A boutique something else. Did you ever get all of those number seven digital to attach to anything? So many high value. No, nope, no, nope, Angie. They never, I, I've never been able to get them to scan for anything. So I just. I left that alone. Didn't go there. Question about, I got you. <laughs> it's that boutique, but about, got you. Um, good afternoon. This is my first time watching you live. I hope I am going to learn some new deals at Walgreens this week. Wanda, you will. I am a wealth of knowledge. I am. 
Uh, Wanda, you, you're kind of creeping in a little late, so maybe go um, once the video processes, go back to the top of the video and re-watch it from the beginning. I went over all the things. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to leave it in the comments for me. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Or someone in the, com the community will answer you. Or you can check the pinned comment, which is the very first comment on all my videos in the comment section. In the pinned comment, I leave you my brain. So any and everything that has done come up with Walgreens, I made a video on it and it's in the pinned comment, okay? I love how you explain everything new to your channel. Miss your live, but we'll check it after. Thank you. Is it Maybell? Mirabelle? Mirabelle. Girl, let me tell you. Hey, friend, hey. I am horrible at uh, pronouncing names. Horrible at pronouncing names. But hey, friend, hey. All right. With that being said, y'all have a beautiful and blessed one. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Any questions, leave it down below. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And leave me a comment. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Happy, happy couponing.